Known for his legendary footwork and post moves, Kevin McHale was an unstoppable scorer for three Celtics championship teams of the 1980s. He was also dominant as a stopper, earning six NBA All-Defensive selections. This guy's mind, his, his creative imagination, his skill set, his footwork, his touch, his shooting, and then his trash talking. It was just absolutely incredible. He was a tremendous opponent to have, too, with those big square shoulders and, you know, his, his, as awkward as he might have seemed sometimes on the court, he always knew where he was going and he knew what he was doing. And he was probably the most feared guy uh, in Boston by the 76ers. You know, we played, when we played them, you know, I knew if I, if I beat Bird or Maxwell, Mikhail was gonna beat him. Kevin wasn't afraid to, to take a shot at you. You know, he was a, a critical piece to the puzzle. And, and there were many nights when he was the MVP in Boston. So one night we're, we're playing against the Celtics and Mikhail really has it going. And, and uh, he's, he's torching, you know, our power forwards, you know, Kent Benson, you know, Earl Curitan. And, and finally, you know, he started saying he's got these guys in the torture chamber. So every time they would enter the basketball into him, he would he would holler chamber like you know he got him in a torture chamber, and you know it's too late. So I was coming back to double team, and he was looking down at me shooting like you, you, you're too late. I there's nothing you can do about this. When I got there, Kevin was like the sixth man, so he was coming off the bench. Every once in a while he would start, but he had a routine: shoot around, he would sit on the sideline. And Larry was screaming, like, Kevin, get your butt up and have a shoot around. And he would tell everybody, hey, you want it now at 10 o'clock or do you want it at 7 o'clock? You tell me which one you want. I only give it to you once a day. It's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I, I can't say that. I, I'm a rookie. You know, if I say, I'm like, I can't say that, you know? Kevin McHale um, taught me more about basketball, I would say, than, than any big man coach. The way he would move his body, lean. You ever see, it looks like his body is halfway leaned over him, halfway down, but his head is up here. It's just a weird look. And how he would spin, catch you, make you go up, lean under you, get under you, make you foul. You know, once he caught the ball, you were at his mercy. So, the best. Kevin McHale, he's got the best post moves in all of basketball, the best footwork in all of basketball. With all the accolades, Kevin McHale is not even the most famous person from his hometown of Hibbing, Minnesota. Well, that would be Bob Dylan, who could play the guitar, but he couldn't play in a low post. Kevin McHale, meanwhile, wrote the textbook on low post play. I mean, with the footwork, the soft touch around the rim, the hook shot, he had it all in his bag. Uh, also, he had long arms. As a matter of fact, if I had his arms, I could shake your hand from sitting in this chair. <laughs> he grew to be 6'10", and when you put that combination together, it was lethal. Low post play, step back, 15-foot jump shot. Charles Barkley said he was the toughest guy he ever had to play in the NBA. Yeah, Charles constantly reminds us who was his toughest competition when it comes, and the answer is always Kevin McHale. But then, six man started his career in a reserve role, and then it all changed. The first five years, he came off the bench, got about 20, 25 minutes a night. And then in 1985-86, the Celtics decided to make him a starter. And all of a sudden, the storied Celtics front line was born. Kevin McHale, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, no relation to Roe Parrish, by the way. They ruled that decade in the 90s, won three championships. I don't think that story front line, as good as Larry Bird was and as good as Robert Parrish was, Kevin McHale also was a very valuable member of that threesome. Valuable indeed. Twice in his career blocked nine shots in the game. One of the great, great power forwards that have ever played in the NBA. Kevin, he was a gamer. He was an ultimate gamer. You throw the ball to him, you might not get it back. Because he, he could score on anybody. He won't go back to you. It's called a black hole for, the, for a reason. But he was one of the best scorers in the post with all the moves. And Darryl Dawkins, his name is Dunks. But Kevin McHale's name is Moves. You know, he, had, he had one called Slippery Hill. He had one called Shake and Jake. It's like, it, it, he got so many names for, for Moves. And he'd be able to score anytime he wants because of tenacity. 